So welcome. Today's tutorial is about Register360 Plus Edition and we like to look to the limit box. Uh, let's take a look to Register. So when I'm in my project, of course a limit box is 3D so I need to go to Bundle. I make sure you select the bundle here so you see your whole skin. And then let's say we make a very quick box just to cut off this um, points here so we go here right uh, left click and then create limit box and it will show us a limit box and if I snap to a surface I can move it if I hold the left mouse key down I can move it forward and backward to to cut these regions off if I like to pick a side here for example this left side uh, I have to grab through this top surface, uh, therefore I hold the shift key down. If I hold the shift key, I can just go here and select this surface and then again here. This is the top surface, now I using the shift key and then I can get the right one here. And here I'm from the outside, I can directly without shift key. So then if you zoom in, uh, mm, very common question, how can I rotate and move my, my, uh, my point cloud around? So therefore you have to hold down, always if you have an active tool, hold down the STRG key or the um, control button and then it, you have the navigation features back. So if I hold it down, I can turn it and I can go from this side and could say hey, it's just a little bit here again and a little bit from the other side so that I can um, adjust it a little bit more. Okay, um, when I'm done with setting up this limit box, uh, it's very important that you save the limit box so you can use it. So here you have this little memory or whatever manager option it is. If you click on this, you will see there is no limit box so far. So therefore you need to click on save and then you will say it's getting yellow uh, marked and I can call it building and that's my limit box. Okay, now I can turn the visibility on and off of the limit box. Uh, same for the point cloud, on off. And here's a little uh, option to what you can check mark if you like to export your points only inside the limit box and you have to activate this so that limit box will be applied if you export your data. Okay, so next thing I like to demonstrate is, uh, let's turn this off again, okay, and then let's take a look to this little area here. So we have a table here and uh, if I go to the scan just to demonstrate you see here the point cloud, my image is off, so don't get uh, confused. Uh, if the image is off, of course, um, you will, you can delete your points, but the image will still show. So when I turn now on and off, nothing is seen, nothing you can see. Turn my cloud on. Okay, so let's say I like to define a smaller limit box to cut off this area of this table and of these shares. So what I can do is I can uh, use the quick limit box, create quick limit box. And if you activate this option, then you see here is an option that means quick limit box size. And you see it's set up to two meters. So let's say in our case, let's maybe use, yeah, let's see, three meters. So now if I pick a point inside the point cloud, uh, surrounding box with a size of three, uh, meters from this point where you're picking will be shown. So I click here on the table and I see directly, okay, here's my box. So I can use this. Again, I'm inside the box now. And here again, sometimes you have this navigation. How can I navigate? If you click on control now, it's, it's yeah. You can look around, but it's not really the thing you want. So then you can move here from this option. 
then you can again hold the control or SDRG uh, button down and then you can adjust this gun until let's say until here to the copy machine take a little bit this and this way and then use the shift key again to adjust here I don't like to cut off the closet here so I go to here and then I'm looking to the to the ground so because I like to keep the floor of course and that's pretty much it is so that is my limit box smaller size so once again I go to my manager and uh, typically you are scared now, oh where's my other limit box this is just an issue of showing it so I will show you in a second how you can solve this issue so now I save it and let's say that's my table and then okay and let's turn it off again and close it so now if you go back it's still only the one is visible so uh, the little uh, work around if go to sitemap um, select probably your group again go to your bundle and then zoom out so we can see everything I also will turn off the scans and open my manager and voila all two are there now and I can turn it on turn it off turn it on well it's more here but you can see it's a table um, you can show the limit box again and I think that's that's what it is about the limit box it's a uh, good tool to separate things to prepare for the customer even if you go to I mean you can export this for E57 and so on but if you go to the like a LGS file um, and you share the data with the free TrueView viewer you can activate these limit boxes inside of the free viewer as well so that makes it very helpful for customer communication and um, yeah and there's one final final tip I'd like to give you if you if for some reason the point cloud and the limit box is not aligned so you have to adjust it uh, in, in several ways you can hold the alt key and uh, move over one edge and then you can pick this edge and turn it around so you can do it in this direction you can also pick in this direction so you can adjust the limit box in every way you want so I hope you liked the movie, uh, the tutorial, and if so, give us a thumb up and maybe you follow our channel. Looking forward to see you back and looking forward for your comments. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.